Welcome back. Hey, -o. what up? Good birds. <laughs> Both <laughs> in game and out of game. Yeah. Uh, What's up, honey? Okay. Baby and brotherhood will prevail. I am not mistaken. <laughs> um. Click just went. <coughs> Those were right at the game. To the other floor for me. Actually, let's go ahead and move the camera too. Where do you want them? We're about room in the stairwell. Move them all the way out. Like to the very end? To the chest high wall. Right here? Or the like chest over here? Wall. Maybe the other one. This yeah. One. Back to where he was. That works. Okay. There we go. <coughs> now. Hey, one of her toys is underneath that. She's not going to stop until she gets in. Okay. See if he's stealthed because it's probably stealthed. I rolled a three. No, he's not even going to Okay, versus. It's yeah, okay, he's stealthed. Plus anyway. 10. And I suspended block point. That's 20. Sneak attack crit. Sneak attack crit. Oh, wait, is this good or bad? So that's good. Oh, yeah, 46. good. Go. Keep it going. Kill him all. Well, you can use any of those blankets over there, too. 28. It's 28 plus whatever this I is. I hate plus this the D4. Huh? I hate this D4. That's one. Is this five. Dex 20. Uh, 13 plus. Uh, it is. So it's plus five. So that is 18 plus 28. 46 damage. 46 damage. This guy's dead. It's to me. Yeah, go ahead and knock him over. Let's go. One. Yeah, that guy, he's, he's way dead. Yeah. <coughs> and okay. we're going to attack some hide again. Can you do that? Uh, or, you no. Know, he, he, All right. He well, Mal. Mal's turn. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I... There's no reason to attack him. So yeah, she'll dash up the stairs, mm -hmm. run. Does she need to use her bonus action dash to get up there? Where is she now? 10 is feet she from bottom? She's 10 feet from the staircase at the bottom. Okay. She has 40 feet. She would. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. With 40 feet, she can make it to just the to the top. Yeah. So she'll bonus action hide behind Harriet, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Right there? Yeah. Feasible. Uh, stealth check. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> with advantage. Ooh, 15 plus 10, 45. Okay. Uh, right. And then stealth attack. Which on. one? Uh, probably the next guy closest. Yeah. And do I get advantage? Yeah, you're stealth. Cool, 18 plus 8, mm -hmm. 26 to right. hit. Very good. 94 and 46. Very, very good. Where are these dice? They're the walls. They're walls. chest high walls. Okay. They're discs. Oh, desk. of course. What am I thinking? Basically chest high walls. Hello. Uh, so, 10, 21, mm -hmm. plus 5, so 26 points of piercing damage. Okay. 25? Twenty 26. 26. Okay. Points mm -hmm. of damage to that guy uh, next to the dead one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We'll call him. 
So he knocked him over too. Yeah. He had one hit point left. Oh, oh wow, just man. wrecked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> put a dagger in the eye hole or something. Yeah. <laughs> Running back. Eye holes. <laughs> All right. We did. Mm. And there that guy may not have even noticed the others going down. There we go. So you should probably move in and swap the dude. Flop the guy there. What do you got? So you're. Speed's 30. You're a little bit above in front of that. 5, 10. 25, 30. You can get adjacent because you, you move on centers. Like, it takes up four squares. So she's a little bit in front of that. She's way wide. Is she big? Yeah, she's large. She's large? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell. Okay. So she's a little bit in front of that. Uh, That's 30 to right there. Bonk him. Yep. Bonk him. Yeah, that's 30. That's uh, 12. We have a plus 8. Mm -hmm. 20 to hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guy in front of the vault. Mm hmm. 12. It hits. Get oh. smashed. 12 total? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, you rolled a 4. So you rolled a four. Oh! No. Do I not. have. Do, do I you have, have two attacks. Okay, good. Walk him again. We'll try and him. you have your bonus action with. Uh, um, Bob Bob 10 Bob plus Bob. 8, so no. 18. 18. 18, 18, 18, 18. 18. Yeah. Okay, so then. <clears throat> That's your your warhammer, your hammer. Which is two d six. Two d six plus your strength mod. Plus six. Mm. It's two d six plus six. Oh wait, honey, pick up burgers. Wait, toys. toys. Pick up those toys. Six to twelve. Sweet, I told you to pick up those toys. Okay. Um, she bouncing. Big smash in the rear. Twelve damages. Okay. I'm not sure. Everyone is here. What door is closed? The bathroom door. But I didn't know she was in there or not. Did you knock? I did not knock because that's. Hey, Mama! <laughs> to knock on a door if it's closed? Yeah, I, like, sure. I want you to know if my door's closed, you have permission to knock. I just want to. Your bathroom door is closed. I'm just going to walk in a little bit. It's, and then it's like can Miranda. She gets yes. so mad at me when I leave the house so, and I lock the door. You can try and hit. Or you can try and get yeah. the next person. Every time. Yeah. Time. yeah. It doesn't matter if people it makes me, okay. It makes me Holy more God. nervous that that's not a normal thing for her. <laughs> <laughs> I've come home and my door's been like unlocked. Yeah. I'm, open. I'm like, why? Yeah. Like, lock, no one's home. Lock, lock the door. Like, what are you, you're going to Molly's house? Just lock the door. Nope. It's right across the street. Well, are you watching the front door the whole time? Yeah. Never know. You never know. Okay. First shot. Oh, actually, I'm going in there now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you I'll, can. I'll let you. Yeah. I'll leave the door unlocked. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? It's okay. Newspapers. You're all right. So, so who goes next after Harriet? Are you attacking Popeye? Oh, I'm not going to go Oh, next. who goes next? Uh, would be Jezebeth. What's best? Should I have Popeye try to attack again? Yeah, have give? Popeye do more damage if okay. you can. More damage! That's a four. Plus things. Yeah, but it wouldn't be enough to hit. Mm-hmm. Does he can heal twice? No. No. Why not? You're not flanking or anything. Mm. <laughs> I, I mean, you can with a popcorn. Do I want to use a popcorn? Save for the treasure. Save for the treasure. Not yet. Save for the treasure. Or for a more critical attack. Like when somebody's about to lose or something. Okay. So. Miss Just Beth. Now she would probably move to cover, kind of like where uh, Kane is. So she has partial cover. <laughs> On the other side. Probably to this side, yeah. So move her to those red die and uh, take a shot at the guy outside the vault first. She's a plus four. She's a plus nine. Yeah. So 15, 13. Nope. She gets a second attack. <laughs> There you go. Oh, yeah. uh, is she a champion fighter? No. Okay. Um, 
Wait. Maybe, but she's not high enough yeah. for that to be. I thought that was fifth level. Was it? I think Is I was. Is it I don't know. Let me see. Check the crossbow to hit. Where's the. Where's the. Pass. Crit on 19. Yeah, oh. 19, 20. Okay. Ah. That's a crit. Ah, I knew it. Nice. That's right. That's going to be 16 plus a d10 and a d6 plus 4. So, pull your 20. d10, d6. You get that at level 3. Where? Can I just take that out? What do I do with it? You probably put it back in there. Yeah, you yeah. get that at level 3 with the spider. Yeah. So the Opti dies and then the weird. The Yahtzee dies, yeah. And the circle diamond. <laughs> the Yahtzee dies. That's, that's what I call D6s because everyone has, has played Yahtzee. They know what that is. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Risk dies. Monopoly dies. <laughs> oh, I'll, I thought I just. Don't worry. I'm slightly aroused. Don't worry, I got it. A little bit choke? Uh, yes. Not this one. This is the percent thingy, right? Oh yeah, that's the other thing. You can definitely use your Pokemon Go, Pokemon, and Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah, that's all that. Yeah. Yeah. Can I find something like this? There? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Mm -hmm. the, that's the a really easy way to be able to get oh, all okay. 151 Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I got this one. You okay. can just okay. transfer them. Oh, yeah. See, it's cool. <clears throat> Seven plus. What was it? Plus five? Oh. Or plus. It's it plus 20. Oh, wait. It's a crit. <laughs> oh, but. No, the uh, 20 includes four. that. Oh, I can't see. Okay. It's 16 plus that 4, which is 20, plus, plus the die rolls. 27. So, really? I guess you rolled 7. Not bad. No, 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 let me math a little here. 27 with that guy in front of Harriet. Missed the first attack, but crit the second, which is just as good. So, what was that? I don't know. I, was, I think it was her squeaky toy. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's that weird. Yes, it's that weird one. Whatever it is, it's done. She's right here. Right behind me. No, she's under right, right near me. Yeah. Yep. That was her squeaky toy. Uh -huh. That is her toy. Yeah. Okay. That guy's dead too. Woo! You guys are cleaning up. Except for me, because I'm flying the building. Mess with it. <clears throat> You're still outside, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still flying up. Um. Really sweet. Really yeah. sweet. Uh, Krishna. <laughs> You're um, down there. Uh, can, you can't fly, I don't think. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you a little bit to get back. I think it's a for alligator. Is that for alligator? Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> um, so there's only. It's like for alligator slash. Lily, you settle down a little bit. It's oh, weird. Don't, the face isn't there. There's only two enemies left on the floor there. Uh, on the, the floor, you're... They have yeah. surrendered. Oh, yeah, they've given their guns up to the family members and clubs that are sitting in there. Oh, yeah. Up here, on this floor, though, uh, there's guys in the vault, but you're now on the outside. Yeah, probably we'll get up there enough we're, we're on, like, the 30th floor. Oh, I should have just the um, I don't know if I can, I if I can do that or not. You don't have to fly, do you? Um, well, I could, um, my Misty Step's only 30 feet. Uh, maybe, really, really settle down, settle down. What you gotta do is find a rope with a pulley and another rope and cut the rope and hold onto it and fly up on Catalina's Ferry. We'll be right back. Um, I don't know about that. Or, if that would work. maybe get... All the guards' attention and have them come up with you. Yeah, or I could just draw dicks on Gruber's face. Yep. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> Flawless. Well done. <laughs> or just loot them. Loot the body. Take us. Investigate. Okay. Hans Gruber. Sorry. I'm gonna wear Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber. Yeah, bro. Hans Gruber. Yeah, bro. Yeah, plot point and loot him. Oh, okay. You find. Oh, 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 he has to pause after he tells you what you found. It's a good Ready? sign. A pile of poop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have What's this doing in there? Oh, I was playing Ark Survival and I kept picking it up and eating it. But I can make them for you later. <laughs> uh, yeah, me and the I, I was like, oh, poop. And I picked it up and I ate it. Superior healing potion. 
Um, good thing he didn't get to those. He has Arc. a laser rifle. <laughs> we finally figured out how to play this game. person with two <laughs> uh, cells, which are like the magazines. magazines, if you will. Um, he has a plus one mithril chain shirt. Ooh, that's worthless to us. Is it? And yeah. You also find. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> probably better than my chef's uniform. Say he can use that. He could use that. Really? Hmm? Last time I looked up the specs on Mithril Chain, it just looked like it was worthless to us. Oh, it might be. My chef's uniform uses. So Mithril Chain, it's Mithril, it's Mithrilness, uh, means that while wearing it, you don't suffer any of the dexterity slow penalties. Uh, oh, which I don't have anyway. So one of the rogues might benefit from it. Wait, right. Do I lose this? Do I get this as the barbarian? What? Dexterity You're penalties? You're proficient, I think. No, do I get dexterity penalties? Yeah. Oh, no, because I'm not wearing heavy armor. That's no. Okay. Yeah, right. um, another thing that you find is a note that has a symbol, which is uh, sort of like, before you even open the note, there's a symbol on it oh, that yeah. is a swirling line. That yes. goes into a central eye. Spirals into an eye? Spirals into an eye. You've seen this symbol before. I would think. It so sounds familiar. Really you were... Hold on, Carl, check. You were, you were with them from the beginning, I think, yeah. yeah. So, um, I won't make it through all. It's the symbol of the Cult of Madness. That's what I was thinking. It was all those bombs. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, called the madness. Um, I will. We'll get to the sort of contents of that later. Here in a little bit. Just not yet. Okay, Fian. Um, run up the stairs. How much of my forty feet of movement is that? How how long are the stairs? Um, it's thirty feet of movement to get all the way up. So I can move twenty two, feet two outside of, of yeah. <clears throat> So it just move 20 feet out <clears throat> there. I almost do. Yeah. Um, Bye. And then I... 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 feet. What's that? Double moving? Nope. No. Oh, it's just out of range of my javelin. Mm. He's at 35 feet. Javelin's 30. So it'd be disadvantaged if I were to throw a javelin. But... You, I should double move the, and put myself in You can't see him through the... Oh, I, no, I can see one. Okay, There's okay, a straight okay. line to one. I gotcha, I gotcha. But I want to double move and put myself right up on them. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and I've not attacked this round, but if any of them do any damage, I don't lose my rage, right? <sighs> yes. Um, or should I, as I'm running, squeeze my sword? Can you, like, run and... <laughs> that's what I used to do with, with them, so I'd run and, like... It's just, like... T- Take some damage. Take a damage. Just, just or take, take one point damage. damage. Squeeze my sword. Uh, sure. It's kind of. Okay, I'll take one point damage. I'll let you do that. <laughs> that's like a homebrew rule. Type yeah, deal. it totally is. But it, it, that, it I mean, was. That's fine. God, I'm just, I, I love her little rage. Okay. Uh, so you're one. <laughs> so yeah, just right up in between two of them. Right here. Just okay. no in between two, like specifically. Like right here. Yeah. You want to be flat? Is there a close? Oh, absolutely. I want them to hit me. All right, Quetzal's still gonna fly up. I have another sixty feet to go. Um, you know, move. How far am I from? So I flew sixty feet, and it was four hundred and shit. It's about three hundred fifty feet up there. You know, as far as like where they are, three hundred like, seventy. So feet. slow. Yeah. So right, double yes. moving will get you. So you're you're already sixty up. Yeah. Double moving will get you another one twenty. So be uh, to one eighty. So I'm halfway there basically. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, like two more turns to get there. That's all. <coughs> You're terrible this session. <laughs> I'm so useless. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll just double move up. Okay. And I, I'm also going to drink another potion, too. You flew and you still got double move up? That's 60 feet. And it's 300 something feet up to the <laughs> this floor. Dang. So. It's a tall building. <coughs> it's a very tall building. Still flying. Um, okay. 
Probably the first floor has like a huge vaulted ceiling. Next up. Is yeah, I don't know the math between each floor. I don't know. Both guys. Typically, it's ten feet, but that first floor might be like thirty or forty. So feet high. good news for yeah. you guys. Gotta have a fancy oh, forty. Then, I guess yeah. for the for definitely for the Crocky family. Yeah. They were not able to get all of it. Ecdor. Into their bags. Uh, Ecdor Crocky. Uh, Ecdor <laughs> but what they're, what's going to happen is we're going to use a trace spell. They're gonna put their bag of holding in their other bag of holding. Oh, it's kill us all. Their special bags of holding that teleported all the money away. They're just gonna put them in each other and See, kill themselves to hide the evidence. My question is, if that's oh. so dramatic, why isn't a bad person already did that? He wants oh, to kill well, himself. It, it, it's like a ten foot circle. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't hurt anyone but you. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, whatever's in this, like, I think ten or fifteen foot circle. It's like a black hole. Well, right. Yeah, yeah, a warp. Bubble just kind of shows up and pulls everything in there to a random place. But it's not like a permanent. Okay. Long. No, I'm saying just, like you, if black you, hole. If you have, uh, yes, it's one round. But if you have planar shift or <clears throat> teleport or not teleport, dimension door. Dimension door. Yeah, you can come back like that. But if you don't, you're probably stuck there, wherever it is. Yeah. The actual plane. Nice. Which yeah. really isn't a bad plane to be stuck on. There could be worse planes. Snakes on a plane. Mm -hmm. Snakes See? on a plane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really bad when nope. that happens. It's I have never seen these... it done. <laughs> what was the but point? I, it would not the be team I mean, friendly it's, it's going to be bad unless you're all level <laughs> 18 and you have yeah. a wizard that can I, cast. I didn't know that. Say, was, well, that oh, not even so that. Good. It's worse than that because <sighs> everyone oh. is scattered to a random location on the astral plane. Oh. So you're not like you're not thrown together. together. No, you're It's thrown you don't know where. Who knows where everyone is? It could take you weeks to find Four years anybody. to find each other. I mean, you starved to death before, before you found It's anybody. so good, too. All right. So. I've had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. It says that? Yeah. That's the TV version. Butcher it. The two guys there and the other sort of rogue individual. Um, they group together. They'll, they'll, they'll skirt around you, then to stay within your threatened square, uh -huh. so they don't provoke. Cool. And teleport away. Right. They didn't take all the money. Which is important. Yeah. Very important to the Crocky family that they didn't take all of it. But they took a lot. Um, basically, they had two turns to grab, 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 grab. Um, I rolled a 100. Oh. Oh, gosh. And a 35. So they got 135 blue drop out. Jeez. Which Lucky will guys. very well fund whatever they want to do. Whatever they want to do. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Those are 10,000 each? <sighs> 100,000. 100. <000. laughs> Little bit more. Little they bit. got 13.5 million. Yeah. So they got 130. Hundred and fifty. We'll say a hundred. We'll say hundred and fifty. Because once I get there, I'm taking one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus, plus so, hundred and fifty. The fifty to find us way in the fence pocket. <laughs> Here is, because uh, that's it. Basically, the other two have given up. You've killed everyone else. There's a grand slaughter up on the the thirty second floor. I don't get. Um, and there's an opportunity attack when they teleport away. No. Okay. Teleportation, I don't believe, provokes an actual opportunity. And plus, the guy that's casting it isn't next to me. Next to you, so. Can we trace him? No. I can't. Uh, we trace might be able magic. to. Someone might be able to scry on that money, but. Perhaps. I mean, there are, there there are, are ways. theoretically ways to do it. The Karate family going to want to do it. Well, yes, they will. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Yeah. And they will probably do it immediately. A lot of money. Um, I don't know how many of them are magical, but... So, we're going to kind of... We're out of combat. <clears throat> Everything has sort of calmed down a little bit. The remaining guard uh, kind of come up. I imagine that you are sort of before them, because you're... Leading the charge with them. So kind of leading them. That's less than shit. Um, <laughs> Some flying. <laughs> they 
They get woke up, start yeah. flying, and then that's it. Um, you can, of course, fly up to the vault level. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And because they did break some of those windows to shoot rockets down. Yeah, I want to go into the vault. I'm like, whoa, there's so much money missing, and then <laughs> like grab this one black truck. <laughs> white truck, yeah, or blue. Probably it's blue, yeah, whatever blue. color it is. Yeah, not when they trace the rest of it, they'll probably um, Okay, well, hang on now. He's gonna take you around or two to get up there. You. How much okay. is wait? What, some blue draka? It's a hundred thousand white draka. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice one. Which one? It's very expensive. Usually they're only used in like major business transactions. Okay. Uh, and in relatively small amounts. This I've got a the, major business uh, transaction for the uh, Hectorus family. <laughs> uh, you, when you get up there, the family, like, has the rest of of the the, the other two guards secured. And they're up there, and they're basically assessing the damage. Uh, Kane is watching over the money. Uh, okay, God damn it, Kane. And it's his family's money. What do you expect? I'm getting sick of Kane. He killed my boss, and then that led to me getting killed. Your boss, then, boss was a very corrupt individual. My boss, uh, the bar, the bartender. Yeah, I didn't hear anything about that. Why they killed him? I didn't know. As far as I know, he paid me a, a solid wage to cook in his bar. That's that's all I've known. That's that's fair. He's a, he's, he was <laughs> a fine individual. He was that's an upstanding fair. citizen, and Kane murdered him in cold blood. Yeah, he had a story actually. You don't know that Kane did that. I do know Kane. I saw I saw Kane run out of the kitchen, oh. and he did it. <laughs> I was the only person uh, I saw Kane do it. Maybe I'll. Okay. Oh. Or no, I saw him in the bar, and. There For some reason, I, I'm, I'm the only one that knows he did it. When I saw are him. a number of individuals who uh, the guard kind of oh. search the bodies, shut everything down. I'm alive. Um, they don't have a lot of money He's on wasting them. wasting those potions, as far too. As I guess. Like, you found no money on, on Grons. So burnt two sure health potions. None of them have. Uh, they find a handful of potions. Uh, oh, they find expensive stuff, stuff, but not money. Yeah. Guns and such. The note that you found on bronze is basically a detailed plan of like they were Grons and his group were hired by the cult of madness to go steal a bunch of money from the Karaki family. Which out, they were relatively successful in doing. And I would say, arguably, very successful in doing. You know, they all of it, um, and they were sort of oh, they were going to be given like ten percent, which is enough to live quite comfortably forever. Ever. Uh, yeah, forever. Uh, <coughs> yeah, like a thousand gold, you can live modestly forever. Yes, you could. Shout rich. Yes, adventurers are very wealthy because it's a very dangerous job. Yeah, they die a lot. I know, I've died. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead. So how is the laser going to work? Well, we'll get to that right now, actually. <laughs> uh, when... Uh, what is the older brother's name? Orion. Hector's brother? Yeah. Orion Hector. and, uh, as, as the sort of head of the guard, looks over the weaponry. And they don't have any distinguishing markers, which give me, give me an intelligence check. So anyway, Quetzal can... In on that. Yes. Um, I flew up the building. He's down. Are you, or did he come up there? We'll no, say he that just walked up the staircase. Okay. You were there long before this. Yeah. We'll oh, say that okay. by this point everyone's together. And anyone that wants to make one can. Ooh. Arcana checks fine too. Either way, it's 23. Or it's Arcana's 23. Yeah. 15. Yes. Okay. 15. Quetzal. You've done a lot of reading and studying and such. Also got shot with it. <laughs> you get shot with it. You have. You still have a bit of cold, like. Frost on your person. So you have familiarity with this yeah. particular <laughs> I'm not very familiar with this weapon. There are a handful of things that you know. 
Number one is that firearms are very closely guarded and watched over by the gnomes, yeah. groups, uh, specifically the task force, which is the technology and security council. Yep. Uh, they are very strict with their firearms and they have extensive documentation that was known with them, including numerical markings, serial numbers, and the like. This one doesn't uh, have any. None of these guns have serial numbers. No. No. Um, Stolen from the gnomes. How dare they? And the gnomes sold them. Hey, no. No, I don't believe the gnomes have sold them. <laughs> they like their secrets. You know that a couple of things will happen soon. Soon. They are always on the lookout for this. They always have eyes and ears everywhere, for one. Through their guards. Uh, <coughs> by scrying on their guards. Two, being in possession of one of these guns is highly illegal, uh, according to at least the gnomish powers. And they will stop at nothing to protect that security uh, format, as far as nobody else having guns unless they know that you do. So, it is likely that if they don't already know, they'll know soon the location of these weapons, and they will be sending a group to recover them for reappropriation. Well, they can pry my guns from my cold dead hands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they can. And they will. Mm. <laughs> they have, um, so you know how I expect uh, uh, you, you know demand how, compensation. You know how Clank can can grow to be nine feet tall. They have machinery. They have mechs. I gotta say, I'm I'm sick of this government in our town. Yeah, it's time for rebellion. I have rebellion. There's there's too much bureaucracy. Uh, they have there's mechs, too much have... oversight. And I don't I don't I'm, I'm done with it. I'm over with it. I have nukes and I have Samsung on my side. You have what? Samson. Uh, uh, Sami San? Yeah. Sami San. Uh, yes. Uh, and he will aid you as far as he can. <laughs> but I assure you that fighting a mech. We should just take on the government. Even your group. That's it. That would be very bad. You'd probably all die. That's what they said. That's what they said about, like, uh, you know, all the other countries that revolted. You know. Yeah, yes. that's true. That's true. William Wallace, yeah. It's Tom. Let's do it. <laughs> Break apart. Start a rebellion from within. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an interesting idea. This government's terrible. I know. They're oppressing, and I'm sick of it. If I loot a gun from a, from a corpse, I should either keep that gun. There are loot laws. I got, it's the Second Amendment, right? There are loot laws. <laughs> yeah. There are not loot laws. <laughs> Apparently there are. The gnomes are coming to take his guns. The, they're coming to take our guns. <laughs> take his guns. What, what's, what's the gnome's name? Obama? What's next? My jobs? <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get, take my germ? Yeah. <laughs> Just going wow. on and on with it. Uh, <laughs> call it what you will. You're welcome to keep them. <laughs> you are more than welcome. I'm not saying you can't keep them. You just have to deal with what happens. But I'm saying that there are consequences to all decisions. An organized government. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, um, I want to read our, read our constitution. The laser rifle. But oh, maybe we can sell them, and then it'll be their problem. The, <coughs> yeah, nobody's, nobody's gonna buy numberless guns. <laughs> yeah. All right, nobody. stamp a number on it. Uh, Who's gonna know? Yeah. yeah. The counter so, does. The laser rifle that you have. It does three d eight cold damage every time you shoot it. Mm, bang. Misfires on. I have this written down actually. Ooh, the chains, since he's untrained in guns. You're not proficient in it, so you wouldn't be able to add your proficiency bonus. Ooh. It is misfire three. So if you're all three or less, and shooting it, the gun basically breaks. And you, since you don't know how to fix it, because you're not a gun person, uh, it, if it breaks, it's just a club at that point. Mm -hmm. Just beat somebody with it. 
I'm sick of this gun right in our town. It's been shot. I'll take it down. I think it's so it's <laughs> used it six of its thirty rounds. So it has twenty four shots left before it has to be reloaded. I would also argue um, that you'll have to roll some kind of intelligence check to see how to reload it. <laughs> because again, you've never I mean you've never seen well, this before. Uh, it's easy enough to pull the trigger, but as far as working it beyond that, it's very uh, complicated. Very complex, yeah. In my um, um, other campaign, one of my buddies gave me gun chucks. Yeah, so I'm constantly like running, like flipping and around, and has, and has a chance to just <laughs> shoot randomly. And I'm just like, that. How is this helpful? Right. <laughs> there's, there's a character on. Uh, yeah, Pathfinder is ridiculous. It is. I'm a I'm a blood rager. It's so sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, I I would like to talk to King's family. Okay. And offer to catch these criminals mm-hmm. for a handsome fee. <laughs> uh, Orion, after dealing with a couple of things, um, we'll say that he kind of walks over and. Offer that service. Says, uh, I'll, I'll catch them. I'll get. I'll get them. I'll do it. I'll that, get, we'll get your money back too. At least the majority of your money. I, I mean, whatever they spent, I can't really. That, that can be arranged. I think we'll get it back for a handsome fee, half up front. Mm, we'll see. We have a lot to deal with here. First. Probably be a day or two before we can really hammer out any contract details. Okay. I want to bring my friend, my other bird friend here to uh, assist me with uh, such things. Yeah. Do you have charisma? I don't want to be charisma. Uh, okay. It doesn't matter if you don't, if you're not. I'm a little charismatic. It doesn't matter if you're not proficient in persuasion because I'm Orion negative, I'm negative two in persuasion. <laughs> so Orion now, yeah. uh, has the guard gather up all the other guns um, that are sort of held by all the other folks. They arrest the two surviving members and will take them down to their sort of jail Ooh, yeah. space. Maybe we can have some fun questions. Yeah, I want to, I want to question them. Yeah. That's a barbarian. I get something with intim- intimidation. <clears throat> oh, I think I have a spell that makes them tell the truth. Is there no truth? Memorized, though? Well, there's going to be some time probably between now and when you. Oh, no, Zone of Truth is one of my spells I have prepared. To That's deal nice. with that. And you don't even really have to because Orion can take care of that. Oh, yeah. Uh, unless you just want to. <laughs> you totally can. It's going to be another five days in game before your ship arrives that you had to sail around the coast to meet you there. That's the Sylph, I believe, is what it's called. The Sylph. Still. Yeah. It was the, uh, the, the basically the, the primary ship used by somebody who Count Bunkirk. Who was killed by the monster. Was <laughs> killed by the goblin girl and her bone claw monster. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you help with cleanup. Well, I mean, like, what would you like to do at this point? Uh, yeah, I wanna, I mean, I wanna, I can't question them right now, right? Because I gotta wait, can't wait to question them. I mean, uh, can you question them right away? Um, yeah, I would like to question them. How, how many them. rounds can you shoot at a fraction? So, for you, because you're not super familiar with it, say that you can shoot it a number of times equal to your attacks. So, you can attack twice, you can shoot twice. I don't really see a reason to give us going back up. Not no. yet. Not when the gnomes when the gnomes come with their mechs and their armies. Like, all right, all right, all right. You can have it. No, no. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this government right. telling me what I can and can't do. In, in the meantime, now we're, we're gonna we're gonna have this. If I want to shoot my guns, I'll shoot my guns. They can have their guns, but they ain't gonna be no ammo left. So that's all I'm saying. Um, so what's, what's the continent south of Artan? Because I want to build a wall. 
<laughs> it is separated by an ocean. And we'll so build a wall anyway. That's right. <laughs> and, and, and they're going to pay for it. And yeah. they're going to pay for it. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, that's weird. Not really relevant to what we're talking about. Um, it's on the continent. It's called Chick House. Chick House. Uh, it is yeah. home to a number of different groups. It's actually where the um, major dark elf or death elf city is. Mm. Yeah, yeah keep them death oh, out. The, the other continent that's yeah. kind of uh, Skyrim. I do. I do want to question the prisoners, though. Okay, I'd like to go and awesome. Um, awesome get uh, yeah. Mal. Will yeah, help you I want Mal that. to help him with that. Mal is very persuasive, very okay. charismatic. We so. can absolutely do that. When you head down, after all of that's sort of been gathered. Uh, by the way, the guard sort of takes all the other stuff from the bodies um, for use for the guard. The potions are actually used at that moment I was to I was heal saying, heavily damaged guards. I'll say I'm sure the potions were probably used immediately throughout yeah. the area. Because um, they were potions. they were hurt. <laughs> yeah, but the potion is a bad guy's head. As you step no cure wounds or go down all the steps and as you make your way out uh, there is a curious contingent of they they're not dressed as guards. They're in what appear to be like these are very tall people, very heavily muscled people. Uh, and they're wearing like furs and stuff. Are they we? And one of them steps up as you all sort of exit. <coughs> Is Finn up front? Beautiful. Oh, they're going to see a, they they gonna see a ranger. <laughs> I'm going to see a bird ranger. <laughs> Not letting them take Finn. They like they took my job. <laughs> see Finn step out before everyone else. And Probably was, right next to Corvus. Yeah. i got to think about what is what's your oldest sister's name? I'll tell you in one second. Paul Finn. Uh, if you want to take a picture, I've got everyone's name written down. Frig siblings. Frig or twin sister. sister. Oh, that'd be Frig. Scotty. Um or uh, no no no. What is it? Freya. I think it might have been Freya. Aldous? Aldous. Different mother. No, sorry. Um Hold Bal on. Boulder and Scotty. Uh Yeah, Scotty is the current leader. Yeah, that's what that's right, Scotty. That was my first Yeah, sister. although I guess she wouldn't really be there, huh? Be what? Where? She wouldn't. She, she would have to stay behind and rule. Uh, well, not necessarily. Well, I guess so. She, she's right. the greatest warrior. That's how she's the leader. Yeah, all right. It's her then. It's Barbarian Clan. They're yeah. greatest warriors. They're all, they're all good. Yeah. She steps up. She looks... So, you can tell immediately... That this is Finn's sister. That this is Finn's sister. <laughs> they look very much alike. We're the same height. But she has the same height. Voice. She is as... The Finn's voice is really high. No, she, she has like a normal girl voice. Like yes. She is very, very muscular. And scarred. Um, and probably. scarred up. Like, she's been in a lot of tussles. What, girl? She's a beast. How you doing? <laughs> it's a big barbarian lady. She sees Finn. Notably not carrying the sword. Um, yeah, I, I probably freeze oh, in my tracks if I'm pressing it. Probably at first, but then she sees the belt yeah. that you're wearing. Yeah, I probably, as soon as I see him, I'm like, oh, just like, uh, uh, like, yeah. just that's it. And I'm not even take a step forward. And she sort of kept walking towards me. You move up. Or, oh, oh, she moves up a little. Yeah. Like ahead of the rest of them. Yeah. And you know all of them. I don't yep. have their names. They're not like just your family. No, it, it's part of the it's clan. a contingent of the clan. Yeah. Bunch of the badasses. And to the older members of this group also recognize the belt. The younger ones don't really fully understand it, but she she steps up. And she kneels yeah. to you. Whoa. And I was like, uh, 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 
says, look, says, okay. King Finn. Whoa. Hey, no, you're that's that's you still. You're. You, I, you I, found the belt. Oh, well, yeah, but. You are the barbarian king. Uh, of yeah. legend. Oh God. Not, not yet. And <laughs> <laughs> she's. Get up! She's in shock for that. Yeah. Because of that. That she sees the belt sitting there. When, when you tell her to get up, she, she will. And yeah. So does everyone else. Because once she knelt, the yeah, everyone else like, knelt immediately. Damn. <laughs> she gets up and she approaches you. And give her a big headbutt hug. That's what I was about to say. So, <laughs> just, yeah. It's like we grab each other and just. It's a huge, huge headbutt. Uh, she says, I want to ask her if she likes fine cuisine. <laughs> Probably she doesn't even does hear you. not acknowledge her existence. Can you, can you make grok? Uh, I will. <laughs> I want to go into a rage to <laughs> ask her if she likes fine cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like fine cuisine? I can just see like, the anime. The dog is behind holding up your pan. He pulls out an electric guitar. Oh, like, damn. damn. That dude. That bird she dude. She says... <laughs> Seems like you have much to tell. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's the best response. <laughs> You're king now, son. Say it off the chest. Know. It's time for you to leave your friends. Already? You have to come with us. Already? <laughs> yes. Okay. Your twin <laughs> sister is missing. Uh, no. What? No! He's a little yep. upset. He'll probably start crying. I. <laughs> no, guys. I, I, yeah. She went out. She's a loner anyway. Yes. And. She was out on a mission for the clan. She never came back. We sent scouts looking for her. And there's no sign of her anywhere, so... She can't be dead. It's unlikely that she's dead. You probably know. Yeah. Is that weird twin thing. Mm -hmm. But it is... Maybe you're the warrior king now. Uh, well, not really. That is... Do you have any of the medallions? One. They came with. It didn't come with any medallions. Oh, I, I thought I, could, I had one. It's also. A, no. So the first medallion I get, I will have a strength of 22. Got yes. It. Yeah. It, it has. It has a strength of plus one. It gives you strength plus one anyway, but there's seven medallions and it grants an additional plus one. Yeah, for each of them. So by the time you get to the lake, it's plus eight strength. Yeah. Which Half is time? absurd. Mm -hmm. Third quarter. Additional four. Points of uh, damages every time. Well, it is time for. <gasps> no! Alright. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! If you don't have any of them yet, then we need to help you get that because the time is coming that the prophecy will be fulfilled. That's it's scary. Scary. <laughs> That's uh, scary. To Finn, it probably is. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's probably heard the story a thousand times since he's fallen asleep. Like the story is told that the warrior king, who wears the belt of the warrior king, will Portal, gather the tribes, <laughs> Beer king. all pair <laughs> them for the ultimate battle. Beer. Beer. The world-ending battle. The Ragnarok. The Ragnarok. Essentially. Yep. And... Might be you have, I think that you've heard the story enough times to understand the implications yeah. behind it. Uh, but I always think it's a bad time. Okay. Can you hear me on it? I can. Yeah. Uh, 
it's because I don't want to like reach over the microphone and like hit everything <laughs> and knock it all over. I don't want to kill yeah. Melanie. <laughs> I understand. I appreciate that. Especially when she said really she's so comfortable right now. <laughs> 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 I don't want to knock her out. Facebook, you're still trying like, to sell a Redbox video game. He even says, I rented it from Redbox, didn't return it, sell it for $30. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. I understand. Since we're losing our barbarian, I need to prepare. I understand that this is a lot. Yeah? He's in trouble. You can, because it's basically just an attunable item, it has to be attuned by a barbarian, mm -hmm. realistically. Yeah. Um, and Scotty does look a little Scotty. bit envious of the fact that you have it. Yeah, because that, it's pure dumb luck. Anyway. Pure dumb luck. <laughs> uh, not only that, like that is a he like it's whoever a big deal. whoever has it whoever has it and completes all seven of the trials. It commands everyone's attention. Commands all the barbarian tribes around the world. Yeah, which is With, insane. Without has like without hesitation. And they become an instant legend. Yeah, like just having the belt. Yeah. The fact that you're the belt finder. Yeah. Makes you immediately a legend. Legendary to all of the barbarian tribes. Right? Mm -hmm. And is a name of all the even members. even if you don't be, end up becoming the warrior king, they'll know like Finn. Say of. you give the belt to Scotty. Because mm -hmm. you're like, oh my gosh, panic attack, <laughs> I can't deal with this. You you do it. Yeah. Well I don't I don't feel like he'll panic attack, he's just scared and is going to follow along with the family. Yeah. You have, we have much to discuss. Um, our ship is docked. They have an airship? <laughs> it's called the high wind. They have a high wind. <laughs> I don't understand the reference. Sid. My boy. Yeah. He's an old alcoholic. I like that this is Sid in every Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, there is. Yeah, there are. Well, this Sid is. Uh, Wigs and Bit. Yeah, the Bigs, Bigs and Wedge. Yeah, those are recurring names. Briggs and You have. Bigs and Wedge. Thanks, yeah. Wedge. Take an hour, whatever you need to say goodbye. Me. But it's. <laughs> You, I mean, we gotta go. This is too big. We gotta go. Maybe you can track these guys down again later. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that they could use your help later. I don't know how that plays out. Give them the snow globe. This was a We're gonna go to the ship. Piece. We just at the docks within an hour. If not, I'm coming to get you. Okay. Okay. You all right? And then they all skedaddle. The guards are very nervous. Seeing like, them. Seeing seeing everybody there. Drawing. They don't draw the weapons, but they... they, they they're, 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 they're like they hand on weapon ready. Yeah. Hand on hilt. Ready. Cautious. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of really dangerous people are standing there. Indeed. Um, Does anybody else react or respond to this? Uh... Well, Finn doesn't have much to say, but he will uh, pet Mal on the head and hand her the bag of holding that he's got. Okay. Um, um, I will. And then aside from that, say, well, I hope we see you again if we win. I will tell Finn <laughs> I miss him. I will miss him. And that to give me his sword... Give me your sword. So I may conquer evil with this with this might. It's the only sword he has. I know. I know. <laughs> I, 
can't give him my sword. Damn it. Give me your belt. <laughs> no, can't give him my belt. Don't. You you can get Oh in there we theory, go. Sure. You could get Finn's sword. The other sword that's Yeah, my there. actual sword. Do you have any other magic items? Like what do you have? I have a, a rod of extension and a bag of holding. Damn. Yeah. That's it. He doesn't have a lot of magic items. I mean I've got a, a great sword that does ice damage, but that's that's all that is. Okay, that's fine. And you're not a great sword person anyway. I could be. You, have, you use a shield. You should keep using that shield. I'm also a barbarian. But yeah, no, I could. Uh, you should definitely use like, that shield. I like the shield. The shield works. So very good. Uh, Goodbye, Finn. I'll miss you. I miss you so much. <laughs> you taught me so much. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy. <laughs> so he takes one potion okay. and pull. You can keep those for now, I guess. Yeah. I guess I can. Because they're somewhere in your world. So I'm the barbarian now? You are the barbarian. Bar- the barbarian bar- now. Bar- barbarian. I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's, it is my favorite class. Yeah. It truly is. I think you'll really like the sword, too, when it's found. Oh, yeah, no, you'll love the sword. It should be a good time. Is it your swag? <laughs> No. no, very, very different, but no. there's some cool uh, stuff. Ben has swag. Yule Swag. And all the other, all of them. Um, Doom Slayer weapons. Uh, yeah. Ben in, in felt so good. Can He's catch up to the group, uh, to, to Scotty so and the group, and they will essentially ship out. Disembark immediately. Disembark immediately and head away. Head that way. Head out. Can we, uh, uh, is, is there a shop in the town? There's some, yeah. Okay. I still want to interrogate the, the, the prisoners. Yes. Um, Who is your daddy and what does he do? Right. That's exactly what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that happens, and this can happen after or uh, after the like, We'll say like the next day, you will be in, in touch with a courier who has your guilt payment for all the work you've done. Excellent. Oh, that's perfect. I'll give you that amount in a little bit. I want to find a shop. Okay. Or Spins. Is Spins here? I'm mean, sure he has an office here. Spins. Spin. There is a Spins shop here, yes. Okay. I'd like to buy an amulet of health. Spin doesn't have an amulet to help. Nope. You gotta find those. I'm going to look for an amulet. Go off on the shopkeeper. Yeah, I like to do something to increase my okay. ace. Like, hold up. What do you mean you want an amulet to help? It's everything but coffee. An amulet of help is everything. They're working on making some more. but coffee. They don't have any well, how, much, how long would it take for me to get an amulet to help? Like if I put an order in. Six months? How much would it cost? Uh, the regular price of Amulet of Hell. The Blood of an Innocent. How much is an Amulet of Hell? Uh, I have to look it up. What is its rarity? You have the book right it's there. It's one to five, uh, 500 to 5,000, I think. It's rare. It's rare. Rare. To check. It's rare. Um, so it's five to one to 5,000. However much it is, it's one more drop than what you have. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. It's worth 3,000 white draca, which is about what we have to pay for it. Okay. Um, uh, when it's finished, I'll trade a belt of dwarven kind. It's worth 4,500 white draca. But when it's finished. Will that, will that, will that do, Sven? Or Sven's helper? Khajiit. Khajiit. Yeah, will that do Khajiit? Uh, it's an extra 1,500 for you. Suppose, yes. Okay. Cool. Let me know when it's done. What do you have, what do you have over there for uh, higher AC? <laughs> we have armor. I need an aim with dexterity. What kind of armor? Or armor? Do you wear? Do you, do you I don't have any armor. You can't grow no armor, son. Yeah, yeah I'm all natural. You, what about the plus one mithril shirt? Does it stretch? I guess it right. will fit magically. It, it will magically fit you. I wanted to like so. Fit. Yes, it does. Yeah. So magical armor does that. It does. Okay. okay. And so plus because one, you're basically chain. casting enlarge reduce on yourself, 
and start doing that. That casts it on the stuff you're Everything wearing. Everything you Yeah, your items. You Come on. Come on. Cool. cool. So, yeah, I think that was, was the... Was that Mithril chain mail or chain shirt? Uh, it, was a ch it was a chain shirt. That's medium armor. It's 13 plus your dex modifier. What's your dex modifier? Actually, plus it's two. 14 because it's plus, plus two. One okay, it's a maximum of plus two. It's so, 16. Uh, 15, 16. Better. Yeah, your armor class is now 16 if you're wearing that. Yeah, I, do. Uh, I will wear that. What's your AC right now? Yeah. Huh? Good. What's your AC right now? 14. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. it's 16. <laughs> Squishy. How are, you, how are you still alive? Yeah. <laughs> like, Stay in the back. Support. <laughs> how about that twice? Luck 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 yeah, luck those luck points luck. are really good. <laughs> to uh, reduce attack. So make your armor class 16. And I'm wearing yeah, a mithril, mithril shirt. Right, yeah, right Plus down one, the uh, mithril chain shirt. This this box down here is meant for equipment. You can write the middle. Can you just write uh, mithril chain shirt worth 50 gold? Or no, nice. worth I do want to uh, I do want to talk to prisoners. Okay. Will do. Ha <laughs> ha. 16! Look at you, moving on up. Now, I won't get hit by everything. Do you use a two-handed weapon or a one-handed weapon? I have a one-handed one weapon. Get a shield. That would be a good idea, too. Get a shield. <laughs> Is he proficient with shields as a locomancer? That I don't know. Check your... Well, I, I can check mine home. You know if locomancer is proficient with shields? Just another shield that pops out of your arm, huh? Folds out. You! Um. You. Are. Hmm. Hold on, let me check. I, I can pull. <coughs> I, I don't to. know offhand. I know that eventually you become proficient in armor and weapons just because you're so lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah. that. Well, I thought, I thought it was a feat that I get later on. Like, has, I'm just proficient in multiple things. It's like level. Yeah, let's write it. No. Eleven. Do it for the coal. Because if you get a shield, oh, you'll you'll be at like eighteen or well, you'll seventeen. Be, you'll be seventeen. We can make your fire proof. It's plus two. A shield is plus yeah, two. Yeah, it's gonna be eighteen. Eighteen. It'll be nice. What? So after you see basically see Finn off, uh, you head to the jail. Mm -hmm. They have just recently processed these individuals. And they are in their respective cells. With their fingers broken. <laughs> no. About to be. <laughs> We're going to eat them. We're talking future tense here. They're both human. They're both male. One is a little shorter than the other. Oh. Um... Well, I don't know if everyone needs to go, but Corvus can cast Son of Truth. Mal is, I think, the most charismatic in the group. This is light armor. Oh, you really need Son of Truth. Uh, and, well, just because you've kept Son of Truth doesn't mean you'll get everything. You need to be able to pull the information out of them, too. It doesn't force them to speak. Yeah, you true. need to be able to force them to speak, too, through persuasion or deception. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. All right, sounds good. So, <clears throat> I mean, Chris, Mal, and uh, Quetzal. Quetzal. I mean, Mal, are asking questions, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna investigate their answers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at them. And so like, you're look. You mean insight? No, I'm gonna investigate. I'm gonna investigate. That's not how that works. I want to see the shoes. I want to see the dirt on those shoes. <laughs> okay. I want to see the armor that they're wearing. I want to see their timepiece. Yeah, the timepiece. I'm gonna see everything under the fingernails. I want it all. Uh, okay. Because I'm sure you're tired. So you want to go look at their equipment that is in like the holding. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Okay. Through a series of conversations, you're known at this point by the guard from Orion. I almost died. So. <laughs> they should have seen me like fall out the window. <laughs> like, yes. In pursuit of the dude. So um, they they will let you look at it. Okay. I would say. They don't have an issue with you looking at it. Alright. Uh, they, 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 they knew that you were fighting against them. I'm a Sherlock Holmes set and I'm going to advantage. Get your little bullet pipe. 
Wait, no, my hat. Well, it's the hat. Yeah, use your hat. Because it, it's 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 oh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to put some bubble pipes. Like I'm always bubble pipes. Like, at oh. all times. Like, <laughs> like some blue, blue bubbles. Blue bubble. Purple bubbles. Yeah, we'll, we'll do pur purple. Sounds purple sounds like a good color right now. Yeah. Purple bubbles. Nice. And uh, we'll get a 19 on investigation. Nice. Okay. Mm. So we're looking at this. Um, I want to see the dirt in those shoes to see if I can determine where they're from. <laughs> so taste, taste, taste the dirt. No, <laughs> so oddly specific. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Really work that way per se. What do you mean? You can analyze their food to see what food they ate and what rings you're in front of. Oh, the 19, you said? Science. Yeah, the 19. <laughs> 19 not bad. Uh, I will say that I from the style of armor that they use or from the dirt, clothes. the way they talk on their shoes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, they are. Certainly not typical to this area. Okay. Um, the soil is more indicative of a north, like a northern place. Okay. Is there any place I can go heal as well? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can probably take a short rest right now at least. Well, I gotta. Um, also you have to repair yourself. You have yeah. to find parts and stuff. I want someone to repair me. I want to go just like a mechanic. I'll do it. No. <laughs> uh, they could I'll do can you? Yes. You could definitely um, find someone. Find someone. If there's maybe, anyone in the party that repairs, yeah, especially with the yeah. family, I'm the smartest one of all. I don't think it's. I think it's the right tool. Uh, someone at Spence can do that. It's an intelligence. Yeah. Is it? But the it's the, the family. There aren't a lot. Five they don't have any tinkers themselves. The Crockett family does not have any tinkers. Uh, I know it's but, crazy. I, I look like I'm stupid and I do stupid things, but I'm really a smart he's bird. Actually really smart. <laughs> I'm a smart bird. <laughs> I'm just a wild card. Spins is <laughs> your tattoos are your beak. I'm not a wise man, but I'm a smart man. Huh? Spins, coffee shop. Oh, yeah, you're um, right. Yeah. You can definitely find parts to repair yourself or to have someone repair you. Um, like me. There isn't an arms place here. As far as like a like a an artifice repair location here specifically, more than area. Now is this the one like area in, in our continent, or is it a different? Continent? Yeah, this is on our continent still. This is a southern city. Yes. No, but the the soil. Can I? Oh. Can I like determine mm -hmm. like where like general vicinity where it's from, other than just northern area? It's got a nice shit on it. Okay. No, but you do know that it's how about it's uh, from the north? The guns. Well, I know that the serial numbers are are filed off. They kind of determine There's, where there were no serial numbers, or there were none. Can I determine where they were from? Oh, that's an interesting idea. Sure, give me another investigation. We use another charge of my hat okay. because why not? Why great. not? <laughs> So uh, 15, uh, 23. 23 is good. Very good. <clears throat> yes. This particular make, and again, you're not super well versed, but you find, as you're sort of looking through these weapons, Find a, a sort of like secret latch or compartment or something. It opens up and has a. Uh, there is a symbol on it that you recognize as the symbol of Sartak City. Mm. To be specific, it looks like a D20, right? And yeah, well, it's a icosahedron. Yeah, it's an icosahedron. Yes. Because that's how From a city is made up. Yeah, that's okay. how the city is, is designed. Interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mal, take it away. Um, 
Yeah. So where do you're, you're, you're of course not with Mal. Yeah. No. I've, so, I've asked. I've, yeah, this I've, is Mal. I've, I've gathered the information that I need. Uh, first, Corvus will ask them to submit to Alvin and tell us the truth in prayer. And they have to make a Christmas saving throw of 13 or they can ignore my spell. And I can tell if they ignore it. So Yes, you can. I'll be able to tell Mal. Which is interestingly something that they always don't address in yeah. Yeah, I know. Like when it happens. It's the strangest. I don't understand. There's just certain things Matt leaves out yeah. for whatever reason. Okay. Are you questioning them together? Yeah. Or separately? No, separate and together in one room. Okay. There's no reason. Right. If the zone of truth works, there's no reason to separate them. Right. Um, one of them succeeds on the saving throw. Right. One of them does not. And I will pork that one with my spear one time, like not lethal incidental damage, but mm -hmm. just to be like, you're a little. You're a sinner. You can go and help for this kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, and then I let Mal know which one has been infected. Okay. Uh, and so Mal will ask where they're from first, uh, where they're hailing from, mm -hmm. why, where they got their guns from, and uh, <clears throat> I guess those are the first two questions. Where they're from, where they got their guns, and then what else would be good information? Where... What are their master plans, or why were they doing this? Okay. Who were they working for? So, I'm going to need way. persuasion rolls. Cool. Because she's not here to really, like, roleplay this, per se. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a persuasion roll per question. question. Cool. Where do you hail from? Uh, no advantage or disadvantage? I would say, given the circumstances, that it would just be a straight roll. Persuasion plus eight. You haven't really done anything. So. Uh, twenty-two for the first one. Okay. Persuasion. Very nice. Uh, <clears throat> one of them says that he is from a fishing village called Kohath. Okay. Which is kind of in the middle of the continent. And the other one says that he is from Sartak City. The one that is telling you the, the one that you know is telling you the truth mm -hmm. is from Kohath. He has a little bit darker hair. He's the taller one. A little bit darker hair, darker skin. Um, he has clearly evidence of like the scarring associated with a life of fishing, usually. So, like, there's a little. Looks like a fisherman. Yeah. Bizarre. Indeed. Well, someone comes along and offers you a shit ton of money, you probably would take it. Yeah, but I mean, he's just a <clears throat> fisherman. He's not a fighter. Yeah, but. Well, he trained. Somebody he was, comes he along. He was a fisherman at first. And, and somebody's like, hey, you want to come make a lot of money and be a badass? Uh, yeah. Maybe they come and took the whole village and enslaved them. So next question, um, where did they get their guns from, and their weapons? Where's the math? Who need math? Uh, we should always have like just the math in display. <laughs> I have one out in the garage actually. Might be better to ask them who they got their guns from. That's what I was like sort of meant by that. Is we're okay. So Syntax let's get a let's yeah. roll for that. Persuasion, come on. Oh god. Damn. My dad posted the How Hard of Aging Hit Me challenge. Mm -hmm. My dad posted that whole How Hard of Aging Hit Me challenge. He posted both in 2010 and 2018. Wow. What a handsome gentleman. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> the one that. He's aged so well. Can't lie. Doesn't say anything. He is. Yeah, yeah. He thinks about. God damn. What's happened? Yeah. And you can clearly see that in his face. Yeah. Like clearly screwed. 
screws in a bad way. Yeah. He's assessing the best route here. Um, the guy that can lie is just like, I just, we just found him. Straight it. You know? <laughs> um, the, the guy that can't lie says that they were given to them as part of completing their training with Grons. So Grons is where they're from. Yes. So ultimately they don't know beyond Grons where it came from. Oh, cool. Let's, let's, let's bring do, get we a necromancer in here. Yeah. I can do that. Raise him, yeah. <laughs> I can speak with that. They do, I, they do have his corpse in the, the sort of morgue processing area. Yep, I can... I can definitely cast Speak with Dead. So. Excellent. That's handy. Yeah. For sure. Yep. Um, well, what else would should Mal ask about these two idiots? Uh, did they know what their, their... Did they have any idea? What was the rendezvous spot? Mm. That's not a bad question. Yeah, where were you all headed? After... You succeeded today. Here you go. Eighteen plus eight, twenty-six. Twenty-six is real good. Not for us. Real good. Again, the guy that tells the truth says, and they they actually both say this. Yeah. Uh, after getting the money, we were to get just gather up with Theo, who would the guy, the sort of wizardy guy, uh, who would teleport us out. That's all we know. So the wizard named Theo, right? These guys are underlings. Yeah, I know. I know that. I, yeah. I, I realize there's they very little, little, a lot. The very little information I can get, yeah. but yeah, there's yeah. a wizard named Theo. Well, that's, there, I mean, that's there good, is. yeah. There is. That's strange to me. I, I feel like, you know, if you, if you have a gang of people doing a job, <clears throat> you tell them everything. No, you don't. Really? No. You tell them what they need to know. Not if you're criminals. Yeah. You what you need, them what they need to know. What they need to yeah, know. Yeah, especially yeah. underlings. They're little gunmen. Don't they the need to know like driver how or... the entire situation works and no. how you succeed in the in the. No, you don't see. That's the thing. You don't think like a criminal. I guess I <laughs> because if I'm a criminal, but I'm and a criminal. my leader criminal guy <laughs> says, "Hey, here's the whole plan." I don't need lead leader criminal guy. Not no, only that, but I can I can shoot him in the face and I, and everything's fine. Yeah, think okay. of uh, <laughs> I get that. I get that. The, jo the Joker, like in uh, that. Yeah, he went through. They killed, killed, killed everybody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's just. I mean, the Joker is like mm. he just he just wanted to have fun. He just had them kill each other. Oh yeah, yeah. Because he's crazy that way. But the more people you tell, the more that can roll on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I get that. That's true. Anyway, Side anyway. information. And all that. So I got. Well, wouldn't that uh, one was see. taken from Kohath. I don't want to one commit heist and do what people have trust. City. Oh, can uh, Kyle retroactively Corvus do an insight check on him saying uh, he was from Patrontax City? Yeah. Because Corvus mm -hmm. is good at that. You can. Oh, mm. Nope, not that great. <laughs> Eight. Eight? You think he's telling the truth? He doesn't yep. seem like he was lying about that. that I mean, yeah, that's not really important. No they to they were just re that. regular Joes that were Offered great money and great money. We'll train you up right. so you can do jobs. At, the, at this point, kind of like knock on the door and like well, get them out. Of the I way. would say, hey, I would say that that's about all we're gonna get out of them. So that you, you could, I mean, you're welcome to ask more questions. Mm -hmm. Hey, they're from Sartex City. Yeah, that's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, that's where we need to go. Okay. Oh right, because you have the gun information. Oh, yeah. do uh, I guess last question? Do do you, uh, is there a base of operations that you all know about? No. Didn't think so. No. And they're telling the truth? Yes. As far as you know. Definitely the one that can't lie is. Yeah. And by um, association, Yeah. the other guy. Yeah, we don't know. Cool. Didn't think they would. But we did get the name of their wizard, Theo. I That's truly love his clear die. I'm very I important. gotta get a set of uh, <laughs> You're so cool. I think <laughs> Corvus might, might have seen him, the wizard fellow. Harriet definitely did. Finn definitely did. I, think that was um, I don't think Harriet
Chariot can cast Scrying anytime soon. The dude that, uh, uh, no, can Rangers do that at all? Maybe not. Can they Scry? Maybe not. No. I don't think they can. No, that's, uh, that's a wizard thing. Yeah. yeah. That's a wizard thing. Okay. Divination kind spells. Or, I mean, they're like Scrying Stones and stuff. They can get, like, or Scrying okay. Orbs, yeah. Crystal Balls, and the like. Bards, Clerics, Druids, Warlocks. Yeah. And Wizards. We have none of this. <laughs> we have zero of this. I am a cleric. I can cast Grind. Well, I just you... can't cast fifth level spells yet. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. we, so we have zero of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, this is true. That's definitely good information. I will we'll let Police Force know. So, Sartex City our, is our best bet. I guess. Yeah. Sartex City, where a lot of these guys were picked up from, probably. It's where the, the Ben was from, too. One of the tech people was a wizard named Theo. Was he a human? Did I get that information? He was human. Yes. Human wizard named Theo. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. Do you have to, do you have speak with that prepared? Uh, no, I don't have Steve with that prepared today. I mean, you can always. But yeah, tomorrow, I don't matter. He's still dead. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> tomorrow he'll still be dead. He ain't coming back. Yeah. He's still super dead. Tomorrow he'll be just the same as he was today, so I can do it tomorrow. Yeah. It'll be really strange talking to his head, though. He was just decapitated just, by Yeah, Krishna. so I can just talk to his face. Yeah. It's funny. You're like, hey guys. We, we, we did <laughs> the move with Half Thunder <laughs> campaign. We talked to a head. It's <laughs> pretty cool. I mean, that's, if that's all that's there, it's all good. It still works. Functionally, anyway. We'll take some selfies with him. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> oh, no, I Look who's getting ahead. I don't have that yet. <laughs> I don't want to speak with that. I don't have third level spells yet. Oh, okay. Well, then. Sorry. I still want to take selfies with his head. See, we might be able to find someone that can. get, like, painted or drawn. Like, especially <laughs> the charcoal. Me being a cleric. Me with holding his head. Backlight background if I find a church. <laughs> They should put his head on the pipe there in front of that building. Able to help yeah. us. We might put a it was a warning. Yeah. yeah. What's that acolyte background thing? Help the helpful. All right. We could probably yeah. find a cleric. But What's it called? Shelter, shelter of the Faithful. We just carry his head around until we do find somebody. Okay. Well, there's probably someone here that could talk to them. They're to help yeah. me if, as long as what I'm doing is not devious. Is there someone in the in the city or in this town that could talk to the dead? Like a cleric? What so... Else there, yeah, there are a couple of temples. Most of them are to Palerva, the goddess of wisdom and commerce. Okay. Go figure. Yeah. Uh, and they, they would have an individual like their their head cleric would possibly would be able to possibly be able to. Which would that no, cost? No one else. Uh, it costs some money. Does that have? Components that cost the components to cast? Yeah, it's charged. I don't think it does. They're gonna charge us. Uh, speak with dead is uh, burning incense. Okay. That's yeah. It. I mean, just they, incense. They do that anyway. Just incense. So, so I don't think they'll charge us. Uh, just uh, I'll I'll take free I'll take free work. Yeah. Well, okay. So there. It's kind of like. The how how the old church used to like uh, do indulgences with donations. Um, it is incense. Does incense have to have a certain gold value, or is it just? Um, it just says think, think it's incense. Incense. So it's just regular incense is fairly cheap. Yeah. Yeah. It's like one draka. Yeah. Realistically, one one white draka would be totally fine. That's that's like gold, then, right? Yeah, it's a gold incense piece. and gold. Come on, this is like a copper. Like that's not even. Ah, this is special incense we're talking about. You're bartering with place? our pennies, like he he says. You care? Sort of head. head we'll piece, give him a gold. All right. Sort of head piece guy. <laughs> yeah, material is just says burning. Yeah. Incense. So I'll give him a gold. That's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or a, a white draw. I'll give yeah. him a white draw. Okay. Yeah. He gathers you up and says. Get five, five, five questions? questions. Five questions. Um, what five questions? And I'm going to need the wording as concise as possible. Yep. Because they can be vague. Mm -hmm. What five questions do you 
want answer. Who does number two work for? <laughs> Who is your daddy and what does he do? I, uh, I can ask those questions. I don't think no, that will help. That, that would help you very much. I gotta no. do that. Um, um, all right. So, uh, great first, movie. First question. Away. <laughs> Unrelated to anything we're doing here. Um, does he have sharks with freaking laser beams attached to the freaking head? Where... Where did you get your weapons? Okay. And where did you get your guns? The guns, yeah. Uh, where did you get your guns? Does he know he's dead? It. It's. He does. It's his body's. Uh, I get. It sort of drags the soul back. For not exactly. Let's see. That's uh, fine. For them to answer questions. The corpse only knows what it knew in life. The languages it knew. Yeah. Answers are usually brief, cryptic, repetitive. It doesn't specifically state that it pulls the soul back from the veil. This, the spell but. doesn't return the creature's soul to its body, but only its animating spirit. Thus, oh. the corpse can't learn new information, doesn't comprehend anything that has happened since it died, right. and can't speculate about future events. Yeah. So it's. It can only answer past questions. Does that mean we, but like do we have to persuade it, or does it automatically answer past questions? No. Um, it <clears throat> must answer truthfully, but it can be vague. Yeah, it can be vague and cryptic. Yeah. So if you ask very specific questions, it kind of helps. That's some. Who so, did they buy? Who did he buy his gun who, from? Who did you get your weapons who's from? The, who did you get oh. the guns from? Who, okay. Who Let's hired you on. for the bank heist? That's the first question. Who did you get? Guns from. Okay. Great. Who? Yeah. Who hired you for the bank heist? For this okay. name. The name of this bank. No. Yeah, the what? The Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> Whatever this place it's is called. Yeah. So who hired you? For yeah. this specific job. For uh, uh, well, I mean, place. maybe put him up to it because maybe he was already hired. Who hired you to rob the? Okay. Um, that's question two. Where? How can I find you, boss? How? Where is your base of operations? Okay. Where is your base? Might be where was your base of operations? Well, it yeah. works out either way. Um, Tints of helping birds, I don't think, is super relevant to the yeah. question. Uh, but, yeah. Where? Uh, what? That's what? number three. Uh, I gotta work on my undead voice. Who? <laughs> like Kami from. Well, does it, uh. Yeah. Mr. Popo! Mr. Popo! <laughs> Stop smoking all that weed! Go away! Mr. Popo is the most powerful creature in the Dragon Ball Z universe. So it doesn't say... say power because he can. Where was the rendezvous point? Oh yeah, where was your rendezvous point? Okay. And then, who does number two work for? <laughs> uh, yeah. Where, where can I find the best coat? <laughs> Probably Star Tech City. Uh, Realistically. What so, is what is the main spice. plan of the? Uh, what, what's the group we're chasing? That what's the group that? Uh, cult of Madness. Yeah, yeah. What what is the main goal of the Cult of Madness? Yeah, which to, which to rise of madness. Bastards. But like to bring about the rise. That is a fun question. What's the main goal? Of the cult of that? Who, who's the like liaison? Him? That's a fine question. Hmm? How would he know that? He would know. I mean, mm. He's employed by them. He well, might. We, we, he we might can find be out. A, we can find out who the liaison is, and then ask that motherfucker. I've never had a job where I did not know like what they were doing. 
<laughs> but you've never had a this dominant is, criminal this organization. This isn't delivering pizzas, man. This is AT and T's pretty criminal. This is not, <laughs> that's true. First of all, <laughs> good point. Nobody knows what's going on over there. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's not. I mean, that's not. Yeah, that's pretty frequent. Communication between upper management and lower management is always crap. Yeah. Anywhere you go, realistically, unless. It's a, that's super rare. To Unless see. it's a small business. Unless it's a small business and there isn't really a lot of there's no disconnect. Disconnect because your boss yeah. sits across the room from you or yeah. whatever. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's, it is human nature. It works like even in the military. It works like yeah. that. Especially in the military. <laughs> Especially. Oh, you, don't need, <laughs> you don't need to know what the end goal. You just need to know what you need to do right now. Okay. And that is go do. Okay, so parsing. Where'd you get your guns from? Information parceling. Okay. Who hired you to rob the Karakis? Right. What is the base of operations? Where was the rob? Good point. And then you have one more question. Uh, maybe we'll wait, depending on how they answer of the. Uh, where, okay. Where you got your guns from? Mm. He's he's okay with that. He can totally do that. Save one in the chamber for yeah. Use. Okay, so you all go down to the morgue, and he brings incense. He is, by the way, I'm going to actually make this guy up on the fly. What race should he be? He's a commerce guy. Ferengi. Echo. Ferengi. This isn't Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Half elf, male. Uh, let's see. Blonde hair. Could be an Asimar. Or this is whatever you called your anti tieflings. I don't think I have a name for anti tieflings just yet. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I made that a specific race. You didn't? There are angels in my world, but they're not a playable race. Yeah, they're like it. super powerful yeah. creature things. Yeah. Um, he is. You can tell that he hasn't seen a lot of adventuring. Yeah, he's he, been very. Like, he's not down. scarred up or anything like that. Um, he has. They were because they're. They sort of follow the goddess of commerce. They do dress very well. They have their uh, their holy symbol that most of them utilize is a um, it's it's a draka essentially. That it's like an, it's very clearly something like it used to be a blue draka. It isn't anymore because they sort of phase out coins as Absolutely as, really. as as they go because it's just basically the enchantment on them that makes them glow slightly to sort of identify them as coin of the realm has been <clears throat> marred to the point that it's clearly not in in in, in, in service coin, right? Um, but it is they have it sort of around their. But it's like an amulet that they carry. Um, he is uh, slightly disgusted seeing the mutilated corpse. Sorry. Just because it was, I mean, it's. it's he's, a, he's a bad guy. He's Sorry. Just, yeah, it's all good. He's just <laughs> not not used to seeing that normally. You know, he does his magic. And he begins to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. You know, who did you get your guns from? And the, the head, like, the head, which I guess one of you could just like kind of prop up on something. <laughs> and he goes, Damakos, do I recognize the name? 
He is on the shit list. You do, actually. Uh, Domikos is a one-handed tiefling, or deoful, if you'd rather do that, um, who was sort of a primary enemy of, primary sort of antagonist against Crowley. Mm. He was, he sort of joined through his own series of events, he sort of joined the cult of madness. And, uh, D-A-M-A-C-O-S? K-O, uh, K-O-S, yeah. Very close. You, Cor- Corvus wouldn't know. I would say because Corvus doesn't hasn't really met. He doesn't know this group. He's never met the Crowleys. I don't think. But Cain probably. Cain would recognize it, as would, you know. Quetzal probably would. Yeah. <sighs> Who hired you to rob the the Korati? Who hired you to rob him? And he says, Damakos. What's okay. that bitch? He is the. with the Cult of Madness, then, significantly. Mm-hmm. Okay. The next one I have to think about a bit. Where's your base of operations? Where was your base of operations? You don't even decide yet. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't expect any of this to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so no. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Yeah, that's that's absolutely. Have met a chief investigator like uh, Quetzal before. Good. Good questions to ask. They are indeed. And with that, Domicos. Uh, well, Domicos want to get it. Went. To the Crowleys, uh, it's possible we could find where find someone to scry on Domicos. I don't know where the map is. Hang on, this. Uh, you've got it in the Facebook group, right? The picture. Yeah, I, it's also in our uh, it's it, it's on our break time screen. So. Oh yeah. I'm gonna pop over to that real quick. We're gonna lose sound for just a second, but I assure you it'll come right back. So. Hang on just a second. says, and again, kind of one word answers here, um, Zindaku. Zindaku, I recognize that name. Do I, have it? do I know that name? Do I know that place? I wish that you do. It is one of the larger cities in the middle of the continent. Where was the rendezvous point for this job? <clears throat> and because it's repetitive answers, yeah, how it kind of plays out in this way. Zendaku. Uh, Zendaku is the one that's given for that one. Yeah, one more question. Maybe ask about Theo. Uh. Say, how can we reach Domacos? Where was the Draka taken to? Oh, that was definitely taken to the the, the group of madness that was hiring them. Uh, 
I would think the best question would be is how would you reach Domicos? What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds. Right. I mean, sounds so good. Yeah, you do. Ask you do. Him how how would you reach uh, Domicos? Domicos. Contact. Yeah. Him? How would you contact Domicos? Contact Domicos. <clears throat> to think about the answer. How would you contact Domicos? He says, So, yeah. Um, all right. Well, I think we've got some really good information. Yeah, I agree. And uh, definitely some very good information to give to anyone who can scry. Um, what level is scrying? Fourth? Fifth level spell. Is it fifth? Like, fifth level spell. You get that it. Yeah. Ooh, before we, before we get this information out, uh, we should tell... Hector's family. Yeah. That will give them some much needed information for the case for half of the payment up front. <laughs> you always get half of your payment up front. You don't, you it, don't ever work for free until it, you get. Uh, ninth level, the cleric gets their first fifth level spell slot. Which yeah. they would be able to do that. Well, or he burned through Speak with Dead. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. That's what it would be. A ninth level cleric. Yeah, this yeah. guy is around that yeah. level. So. And then Warlock. When did they get up to that level for my sake? I, I said we uh we, we need this information for our benefit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I fell from a building and almost died. I deserve some compensation. Other than just getting a job to go hunt some people. I understand. And well, well they're gonna hammer out contract. Okay. Yeah. So we will hold this information until we get payment of some sort. Okay. Is that right? Cool with that? Nope. I'm just gonna give the information away for free. Nope. I'm just gonna accept their honor that they are gonna pay us, but. We're I need items them. before we go on this adventure. <laughs> I, I used all my potions to help save this tower, which I did a heroic job at. I, I, I mean, I was... Yeah, you know, isn't that a separate thing? Can we get, abuse? like, paid for... I think we should get paid... For this. Half in advance, and then... Or, or yeah, sure. Pay us for okay. our so, previous deeds. First of all, deeds and this is an important point. The next day... We're going to fast forward a little bit. The following day, in the morning, a courier arrives to see you with your group. Okay. The steamroller. Because steamrollers, yes. Because that's what Eisenschmidt just said. It hasn't changed yet. <laughs> it can. Well, yeah. That's what they have to do. Steamrollers. Uh, that's totally great. And it is, so yeah, as members of the Fate Breakers, as you complete jobs, even if they aren't inherently super fate breaker oriented jobs well, like our job that we accept if they if they out there. if they benefit public face the, the guild okay and the guild's public face and just the, just if it benefits the guild in general you get paid for it you haven't been paid by the guild in some time mm. so we've probably done a number of things it's been a while some time <laughs> you have done quite a bit since you've started out no, I say that. I think you got paid a little bit after you killed 
Yeah, we got something right at the beginning. Um, the, the fire giant. Yep. Yeah. And then nothing it. since then. It's been a little while since we... It's been a little while. We've done a lot of good stuff. A little bit of not so good stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about any of that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about any of that. Yeah. It's in the past. Uh, Quetzal's always been an upstanding. Okay. Place, so. Let's do this. I need someone to roll percentile dice for me. Who's okay. got the lucky die? I'll do it. Well, I'll do it. Okay, you can do it. Percentile win. Oh, 38. 38. Not quite great. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. So, a courier, a courier arrives with a bag of coin and a note from Sai saying, Job well done. Thus far. Keep up the good work, all that fun stuff. You know. Don't. Make bad choices. <laughs> Don't touch strangers. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Don't cross the streets. <laughs> and in the bag is 10,000 white drive. Ooh, he's good. Jesus or Christ. Or it's equivalent. Probably more like 100 green drive. Okay. How many party members? Is that right? Does that work out mathematically? I think. Sounds yeah. good to me. One green is worth 100. There's seven people? White. Yeah. I think. I think that's how that works. I'll have to verify. Yeah, I don't remember the conversion rate. That's um, not fun. It's up in my index card it's stack. It's one... Well, well, maybe that's wrong. Because I wrote it down it was 100 green for a white and 1,000 blue... Or 1,000 white for a blue. But you just said blue is worth a hundred thousand. So blue is worth a hundred thousand black draka. Oh, black. Okay, Still, yeah. It's an absurd amount of money. Yeah, green's a hundred white. So red is worth ten black. White is worth ten red. Green is worth a hundred white. And then blue is worth a thousand green. Which is oh. lots of money. Yeah. yeah. That's lots of money. Yeah. So you get one hundred green drug. And if you recall, um, there's another note sort of attached to it. Ooh. Written by it's in a very interesting small handwriting. And the signature is very swooping. It's very clearly a note from Sven saying that for all your hard work, blah, 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 you can come to Sven's coffee shop and get one. Essentially one rare or one. It's a for Christmas. For as far as real life Christmas. Yeah. Because it's, you know. So how about that angle of the hell? Huh? How about the angle of the hell? <laughs> you gotta find those. Damn. We'll wait six months. Dude, last campaign, like four people had one. We all yeah. had one. And it was I'm not fun. doing it's that this campaign. campaign. It's a... I'm not doing that in this campaign. Yeah, it's not fair. I get it. Brett? Con is a valuable stat. What's crazy is like, how is that like the only thing, like, other than like, like Belt of Giant strength, but like, that and Khan are like the only two like boostable skills in nineteen. Like everything else, like you have to like no, fun. There are plus uh, one. There's a headband of intellect. That makes your intelligence nineteen. That's right. I'm already twenty. Uh there there are items that do that. Yeah, but like I can't get a dexterity item that takes me nineteen. No. I think Gerald homebrewed a belt though last night. I think I, I, I did, think I did. Wizard. something like that. Uh, I'll take that. Or... <laughs> yeah. My wizard had a belt yeah. made his dex nineteen. That's very rare. Or a source. What does that cost? Dexterity, I think that they do that on purpose because dexterity is it's very so valuable. Yeah, it's, just yeah, it's, it's yeah. extremely yeah. valuable. If 
my source. I get it. I understand. On, I get it. <laughs> like early on, it's, it's more valuable than later on because later on, stats get higher. And you got basically plus, you got plus ones and yeah, yeah. But uh, the, you can hit everything. The my sorcerer with that belt had an AC of twenty. Yeah. yeah sorcerer, crazy. crazy. Uh, Super yeah. crazy. Ooh, plus one chef's outfits. Can you have plus one chef uniform? What does that cost? I'm sure you can, yeah. Uh, or no. If I'm using my rare one, would, plus rare? one armor would be... A more than rare? What is plus one armor? Um, I think that's uncommon. I think it's... It might be yeah. uncommon. Plus rare? plus two is rare. Let me, yeah. get, a, let me get a plus two. Plus then. three is very rare. Yeah. Okay. You do that. Uh, how much was that green, by the way? How many green? 100? Yeah, 100. Plus, uh, plus one is rare, plus two is very rare. So you want to write that in your bag of holding. Yeah. 100 green cool. dracas. Yeah. That we was... just got paid a shit ton of money. That's a lot of cash. Yeah. So now we're up to 600 green draca. Let's put it in your five and point section. Yeah. Like, so you give a peasant a green draca. You're set. <laughs> they're they're living a much better life than they were for the rest of their life. I mean, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I wanna I wanna plus two chef's armor from spin. I think like when I say that, it's not the rest of life, but it's a long time because like a moderate lifestyle. I think it's like two silver a day. Yeah, uh, like eating decent food and sleeping in a reasonable two bed. to three silver a day for a comfortable lifestyle. Yeah, so that's a lot. That's a long time of comfortable life. Yeah, that's a thousand. That's essentially a year. And so some Wait, twenty-one time. AC. I think twenty-one AC. It's five hundred days of comfortable living. Year and a half. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, all right, so got some good information. Um, I need to do, find a uh, also I want to find uh, a werebear to turn me into a slash bird <laughs> <laughs> bear. Just turn into an imp. Bird version of imp. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Yeah, I don't know about the were eagle. <laughs> yes, what if I a were eagle? <laughs> that um, the next thing after this is getting the. Mysterious Chalice of Power. Yes. This, this mystery is only exceeded by this power. Yes. Yes. The Holy Grail. Yes. This power is only exceeded by this mystery. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know why you're so worried about money. We just got fucking buku money. Um, just because I... Because you want to. Well, I need some money. The I need voucher, to buy, I need to buy the some voucher for nice items. So. If you want, we can kind of do that off screen. I would say yeah, maybe decide through uh, looking at stuff, but uh, also looking at the party versus who really needs something for their character. Uh, I would say Jezebel needs I do if our fucking barbarian laughs, and I'm like the only barbarian now. Well, uh, there's two tanks one with an armor class like in Terrask armor class, and one with not a great armor class, but you can rage. Right. And you got pies. And you have range attacks. Um <laughs> pies. So oh, we some uh, grenades. My pies will uh, I, I don't have I don't have any range. I feel there. like I need, I need like area of effect pies. Should buy some more custom I think I might later. So that she gets up to like ten of those or something. Yeah. Um and maybe some Nicer armor for someone. Uh, I mean, certainly viable options. Uh, obviously, uh, spend is the best place to go. You, there are not in this town. Level eleven, I get. But area in effect. like the bigger cities, there are a few other magic shops. But most everybody just goes to spend for that stuff. Yep. Just because. It's fun. And we're not it's in a big city, but go. there's a nice yeah. shop here. Um, there is. So, uh, Corvus is definitely going to speak with the family. Like, he was hired by this family to come and help them anyway. Mm -hmm. So he's going to make do on that. 
And is there any anyone there that would be like the master archivist or the most familiar with the library? their library and all information associated? Uncle Mateo would probably have the most knowledge, knowledge as far as... Yeah. You give me a couple hours, not library, I got it. Well, we you want to work with this family. So, working with Uncle Mateo, I'll... Oh, relay shit. Wait. all the information I've gotten from the two interviews. I did find a uh... <clears throat> a letter. It was the thing that would heal any illness, which that's true was a problem for Uncle Mateo, right? He was he was not Uncle Mateo. He was sick. He got, the he father. got fucked up. The father, father. yeah. Yeah, Iman. Yeah. I've... What What did you learn? To find it cures all things. The mysterious chalice of power. Okay, okay, that was mysterious chalice. Yeah. Oh, you have that? No, we gotta find. No. It. Oh, yeah. I, I found. So, yeah, we gotta we go find. You rolled the whole deal. You rolled a natural twenty. On uh, figure now. <laughs> searching the library, and yeah. found the secret chamber that had a book that had some notes in it about this about chalice, the mysterious chalice of power. So we gotta find. That is legendarily once. Per year, can anyone who drinks from it is cured of any ailment, yeah. regardless of what the ailment is. Even like vampirism and stuff, it'll cure. It'll, it'll cure. It'll make you back to it'll perfect health. Yeah. Oh man, that piss some vampires. It's a factory off. reset. <laughs> yeah, factory reset on the body. <laughs> so, uh, so like if you're lichen, that's unless like you're trying first to be kind. Human. Yeah. It's going to be human again. Well, I mean, he, he's like he's like 650 years old. And you turn him into human, and he's like, what the fuck is this? Well, I mean, he wants to be human after that one. I mean, he's Wait, like, I've lived long enough. I just want to die. A vampire who would cure. He's been, been, cured. been a vampire for centuries. Yeah, Might my problem be would be great for them. Anyway, um, so Uncle Mateo. It would, it would return them to the state they were before they were a vampire. So like, if they were like 20 when they became a vampire, they would go back to that state. See, I'd, I'd probably, I'd probably be a vampire live forever, like IRL, like. So I'd, I'd do it. Does I'm about to kill someone? I kill someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Criminals. Yeah, for hobos. Yeah. Yeah. Does Uncle Mateo have ever heard of? Oh matter. Yeah, Holocaust. exactly. No. Does, has he heard of this cult of madness? Yes. Okay. Everyone's heard of cult. Well, he's aware that. Domicus was the cult contact in the Cult of Madness for this group that attacked him. He does now, if you told him. Yeah, no, I'm telling him every okay. all this information. Like, I'm going to relay this with him, because he's okay. kind of the the one who would the know guy. most, uh, and would know who to get to. And then also, he will find out that they had a wizard on their party, a human male of the name Theo. Mm -hmm. Uh... And that the corpse of their former leader, Grans Huber, is in the local morgue. Uh, if ten days from now he wishes to ask him more questions, because he can do that once every ten days. Okay. That spell says, fails if it's been done in the last ten days. Gotcha. Okay. All of that's great information for him. He will relay it to. Uh, oh, and their base of operations is in Zendaku, uh, as well as their rendezvous. Um, okay. And the grunts, one was picked up from, what was that, Kohoff, and the other was picked up from Sartak City. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty certain that they're telling the truth about that, let them know all that. Uh, yeah. I think that's about it. And of course, Kane should be present for that so that he can relay this information to his contacts. So he is. Uh, which will be... Hopefully, investigating any of this yeah. information. Yeah. They will send word to Penumbra, who will essentially fast track to any sort of possible Penumbra, leads. Penumbra agents in Zamaku, who will go investigate that. Yeah. Um, Mateo, who has been kind of following a lot of the goings on. Of, uh, he likes to keep up on things. Yeah, because he doesn't have much else going on, really. Um, he has information that you might already have about the cult of madness. Okay. 
But maybe you don't. I don't remember exactly what, what all you guys know. I think uh, Crowley kind of knew a little bit more about them because of some other thing. Yeah. So, their purpose, the reason that they exist, is to bring back the God of Madness. It's a little bit more complicated than that. But the gist of it is, there hasn't been a chaos, like a, a, a god that oversees chaos, since the end of the Second Age. You're in the Fifth Age now. It's been a while. Since it has even been, yeah. someone who officially holds that yes. in the Pantheon. And they believe that, that that because there hasn't been a god of chaos active for all those years, that the current state of things is where it is. That's why there's such an organized government, such an orderly government, because there hasn't been any chaos. chaotic power to shake things up to make it a little bit more I don't know, dynamic if you will interesting interesting yes so they're definitely a group that is anti-establishment mm -hmm. being called the cult of madness kind of stands to reason anyway if that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hypocritical, it but up. they're but, out. Well, yes. Organization against organizations. <laughs> Are you <safe? laughs> yeah, yeah, just like the same. Exactly. <laughs> but their their ultimate goal is to number one, it's kind of either or. They either want to resurrect Kalak old god of chaos or, or bring about a new one put someone or something else in the seat in the seat now there are a number of people who are, are entities who have been interested in this position Ooh. for some time now the quest leaders of it he's quite interested in this position <laughs> namely a lot of And demon lords. I'll say some multiple demon lords would oh, love to take they're that. All, they're like, that sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, it's the. Oh, wait. Yeah, demons. Are the demons ones that are chaotic? The demons are more chaotic. Okay. And devils are more. Devils lawful. are more lawful evil. That's, That's right. right. So okay. As far as standard demon lords. Yeah, standard lore. Which is easier than. Yeah. Now, how that. Plays itself out. It has yet. To be it will most definitely bring about, if it happens, war. It will definitely bring about very intense war, very dramatic changes in the structure of the world. Not necessarily the physical structure, but the political structure. Which is very interesting to me. <laughs> yeah, it changes up everything. Uh, it does. You know, it's interesting. Like explaining, I never really put it together until just now that the absence of Kayla could very easily explain the power of the guild. How the guild is gotten to where it's it gotten is. as orderly as it has. That's cool. I like that a lot, Ooh. actually. That works well. Dig it. The no. Mateo is absolutely against it. Yeah. Well, because they are a corporation they are themselves. A corporation. They like, like very much like order. 
they very much like their money being made in orderly fashion and safely. It is arguable, in, and also that most of the gods themselves are also against it because it just throws a wrench in things. It throws a wrench in things. That's all it, the chaos gods would it do. It disrupts their other plans. The balances. It, it disrupts a lot. And will it might help with the whole veil thing, but be a problem. well, that'd be it. There's a lot of there's a lot more lore surrounding the veil and yeah. Kalak that will come into play later. Oh, cool. Uh, that is hmm. very interesting, but it's in Mateo is extremely nervous at this. Stressed out about this. Because the group and the Cult of Madness now has basically unlimited funds. Yeah. 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 Face card. <laughs> which is not good. That's a problem. It's scary. Yeah, they need to hire somebody to draw each one deck, each card of one deck of many things so that they can <laughs> have a little grunt that has this great ability. <laughs> Another. Is there anything else you guys want to do? No, I think we've, no, I think we've got all the information it. we can get. Before. We'll just make some decisions about our buying. Stuff. Yeah, we've got yeah. tons of money. We that that's right. So number one, you get at least a rare, if not something less. If you want something different, that's fine. From Sven's shop, plus whatever you want to buy. Yeah. So you get one rare. Or something. So we need to figure out. Assuming that I'm okay. What? So it can't be like too crazy. Uh, like we'll five amulets of health. <laughs> no. But that's where we're going to end it now. Here. All right. So you have a lot more information. We have a lot more. A lot more. Yeah. Lore around this, and yep. uh, we will finish. We're off next Saturday. Yep. So that's our break week. Yep. And then we'll pick it up again. Following week. Following week. Yep. And yeah. Cowboys lost. Go Burns. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Rams won. Who won? Rams. Rams. Okay.